types of life cycles nuclear conditions and uh, behavior of cells in fungi we'll see what all the different types of uh, general uh, types of uh, life cycles in found in uh, almost all kinds of fungi and how actually the nuclear behavior are monokaryotic or heterokaryotic or synkaryotic so the difference between all those things now we'll see i'm an shankar reddy phd plant pathology so here uh, we will starts with uh, the basic types of life cycles and found in fungi so there are uh, there are plenty of fungi are there right so we divided like uh, oomycota zygomycota scomycota and basidiomycota higher fungi and lower fungi when we say uh, oomycota and zygomycota they are lower fungi asco and basidiomycota are higher fungi so here uh, there are different types of life cycles are found so what is the ex exact meaning of that life cycles so what exactly formed in the life cycle i will see here i have given a simple description but i will explain in detail about all those things asexual uh, cycle in the sense the name itself indicates only anamorphic stages are present and a lack of diploid which means there is no sexual stage can be observed in this uh, in this kind of fungi again this asexual life cycle like uh, diploid is actually restricted to somatic haploids and the entire group of fungi is generally fungi imperfect and a couple of other species are perfect fungi also comes under for example you can take penicillium notatum so this uh, but generally this asexual uh, life cycles are generally most this fungi are comes under fungi imperfect or uh, dustbin fungi so before uh, around 1970 ct in gold called this uh, deuteromycetes group of fungi is a fungi imperfect uh, and Fakel in 1869 called it as a, a dustbin fungi because there is no sexual life cycles are found in. So asexual cycle in the sense completely lack of uh, teleomorphic stage or perfect stage. So it is a, even though actually the like, completely lack of diploids, uh, uh, sorry, uh, uh, sorry, diploid is actually restricted to somatic haploids only. As I told you that uh, fungi imperfect and other species of fungi and some species of perfect fungi such as penicillium also comes under this uh, life cycle so actually instead of uh, uh, this uh, sexuality we can uh, uh, this fungi can benefit from uh, asexual recomb sorry parasexual recombination i hope you guys know what is parasexual recombination like plasmogamy karyogamy and meiosis not occurs in a regular stage or regular interval at a specified manner this is called a parasexuality that was first observed and identified in uh, uh, aspergillus nedulans by ponti carvo and roper in 1952 so this is about asexual cycle so when it comes to haploid cycle the name itself ind indicates haploids only in uh, like uh, there is no diploids are produced the name itself indicates only haploids are produced in this uh, uh, life cycle so meiosis actually here uh, follows immediately after uh, nuclear fusion only so this type of life cycle is the most simplest as possible that we can observe in the lower fungi and very few ascomycota group of fungi also this kind of haploid cycle can be observed but majorly we can observe in the lower fungi like homocystis and uh, zygomycetes uh, generally zygomycetes and uh, here the diploid phase is uh, uh, we can observe the diploid phase but that is only confined to uh, zygote formation for example oospore right sorry zygospore zygospore is a diploid right during zygote formation both male and female will fuse to form a zygote so that zygote only diploid phase so here one, po one more point is completely haploid in life cycle but the diploid phase is confined or present in only during the zygote formation that is the uh, important uh, point about uh, haploid cycle and uh, we can observe this haploid cycle in uh, mucor and uh, rhizophus the second one is haploid cycle with a restricted dicaryophase which means the entire is a uh, haploid only generally haploid only but with restricted dicaryote dicaryote diploid means 2n right so dicaryotic means uh, n plus n n plus n is known as dicaryotic diploid means 2n here the what they are telling cycle is haploid but uh, restricted somewhere we can observe this uh, dicaryotic phase formation of n plus n so here generally this uh, dicaryotic phase is completely dependent on haploid mycelium so which means here this uh, haploid cycle is uh, uh, dependent on this uh, uh, sorry this uh, uh, dicaryotic phase is actually dependent on the haploid mycelium for example if you see the fungi like uh, uh, some higher mycota higher uh, uh, fungi like uh, uh, neurospora 
uromyces thalaromyces so such kind of fungi this uh, haploid cycle with a restricted dicaryotide phase can be observed so and one more thing is uh, uh, like uh, conjugation kinds of uh, nuclei uh, actually uh, they have a very close association with the hyphal segments so that's why it is known as uh, dicaryon so the next one is a haploid uh, dicaryotic cycle so haploid phase is present diploid phase is also present actually when compared to the previous point where this uh, dicaryotic phase is actually dependent on haploid here uh, dicaryotic phase is more extensive and also independent on the haploid phase here uh, this dicaryotic phase is uh, uh not depending on the haploid phase when it comes to haploid cycle with a restricted dicaryotic phase this uh, dicaryotic phase is dependent on haploid when this haploid dicaryotic phase this is this dicaryotic phase is independent or not dependent on haploid phase for example actually uh, the fungi like histologenales histologonomides so such kind of fungi this kind of life cycle is present that is a haploid uh, dicaryotic phase the only difference between uh, haploid cycle with restricted dicaryotic phase and haploid dicaryotic phase is in a haploid cycle with a restricted dicaryotic phase dicaryotic uh, mycelium actually dependent on haploid mycelium when it comes to here dicaryotic mycelium is independent or not dependent on haploid mycelium and when it comes to this haploid dicaryotic phase uh the mycelium is actually derived from the germination of a meiospore uh, that may be present in haploid condition as a monokaryon but once the dicaryon it formed it is potentially unrestricted and independent on the growth uh, and maybe a uh, very long lasting life cycles like long phase of life cycle can be continued as i told you this can be observed in the histologo group like bacteriomycota group of fungi next one is a dicaryotic life cycle the name itself indicates the entire life cycle passes on dicaryotic phase only so i repeat diploid means 2n dicaryotic means n plus n okay so here both haploid and diploid generations are represented in a single nuclear generation that is happens in a dicaryotic phase as i told you Uh, immediate products of uh, this is this dicaryotic phase is actually the immediate products of this meiosis for example you can take ascospores and basidiospores actually i mean ascospores ascospores and basidiospores and basidiospores they are actually fuse immediately to form a dicaryon so that uh, this uh, dicaryotic phase will continues in the entire life cycle uh, this can be generally observed in uh, some kind of yeast and also some uh, smut fungi like histologotritis paxinia graminis Uh, smut generally smut and rust fungi also but uh, couple of uh, yeast also can uh, uh, observe this uh, dicaryotic phase the next one is the haploid diploid cycle both haploid and diploid uh, phases are present in the life cycle that's why it is known as haploid means n diploid means n plus n so both haploid and diploid cycles are present in that's why it is known as uh, haplo diploid cycle and it's very very important saccharomyces cerevisiae is the best example of uh, fair uh, best example for haplo diplo biontic yeast very very example very very important one if you see the previous questions also they have asked this given example of haplo diplo biontic yeast saccharomyces cerevisiae which means both haploid and diploid cycles are present so here uh, uh, for diploid thallus in the life cycle of the organism and haploid thallus that actually alternates just explaining like uh, uh, haploid and diploid cycles it is an alternating kind of cycles are present that's why it is called as diplo biontic or haplo diplo biontic so such kind of life cycles are generally most common in algae and as well as in higher plants but is a very little bit rare in uh, Uh, fungi so this type of life cycle as i told you generally found in uh, yeast saccharomyces cerevisiae and some water molds fungus like uh, uh, allomyces actually the genus allomyces was created by ej e. butler he is also considered as father of indian plant pathology right and also indian mycology and this is about haploid diploid uh, haploid diploid cycle and haplo diplo biontic then last one is a uh, diploid cycle diploid in the sense completely 2n in condition 
to any condition where this complete uh, life cycle is that deployed except gametes he also mentioned one point gametes are not deployed but other life cycle is completely haploid like it seems like you know majority of the umaikota group of fungi you can see like pythium pythopter albo all are umaistis group of fungi right so umaistis group of fungi we can observe this uh, deployed kind of uh, 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 life cycle as i told you this uh, uh, every other part of life cycle is a deployed but when it comes to gametes it is not deployed but generally gametes are haploid in condition in the life cycle also generally we can observe in umaistis group of fungi like pythium pythopter and uh, Albo and this kind of life cycle is also occurs in uh, very few kinds of yeasts like uh, uh, Saccharomyces ludwigii, uh, Saccharomycoides ludwigii, such kind of uh, fungi. We can also observe this uh, uh, deployed phases of uh, life cycle. So these are all the various kinds of life cycles, general kinds of life cycle that can be observed in fungi. So when it comes to nuclear conditions, life cycles are uh, over. Then when it comes to nuclear conditions and their behavior, again uh, there are some couple of types are there. Monokaryotic, dikaryotic, synkaryotic, homokaryon, heterokaryon, such kind of things are there. Now we'll see one by one. Mono means single, karyon means nucleus, which means the cell contains single haploid nucleus is known as monokaryon. So these are generally common in haploid phases of life cycle. I repeat, if it contains a single haploid nucleus, it is called homokaryon or monokaryon, sorry, monokaryon. Second one is a dikaryotic, a special condition where that can be observed in higher fungi like Ascomycota and Basidiomycota, where haploid nuclei and dikaryon is lying unfused, both like uh, haploid is separate and diploid is separate here. And uh, we can observe this uh, dikaryotic and plus condition, right? So in synkaryotic, uh, the cells actually contains uh, only one diploid nucleus is known as a synkaryon. And this is a part of a true diploid phases of life cycle as we discussed just like some higher fungi, we can observe this kind of life cycle. And homokaryon in uh, multinucleate and uh, uh, sorry, in homokaryon means actually in a multinucleate cell where all the nuclei are gen genetically identical and they are derived from a single uninucleate spore. I, there is nothing to confuse here, I will tell you. In a generally, imagine the cell is a multinucleate cell which contains a multiple number of nuclei or multinucleate cell. Here, the genetically identical mycelia originally derived from the single uninucleate cell. From single uninucleate cell, the genetically identical mycelia are produced. When it comes to heterokaryon, these genetically identical cells are produced from a different kinds of genotypes. So we can also say different genetic nuclei or something like that also we can say. So this is called hetero. Homo means same. Hetero means different. So if the, it is derived from a single uninucleate spores, the mycelia actually derived from single uninucleate spores, that is homokaryon. If it is derived from multiple uninucleate or uh, different genotypes, that is generally referred as a uh, heterokaryotic. And this heterokaryotic cell is generally formed during the, maybe during the result of mutations, sudden heritable changes, or maybe uh, anastomosis. Uh, anastomosis means very simple, fusion of hyphae. So if the two hyphae is fused, that is called hyphal anastomosis. So such kind of things also we can observe this uh, heterokaryotic cell. For more information, students can uh, refer this book, A Vision into Plant Pathology, a complete student version. For further uh, doubts and uh, guidance, students can reach us at www.geekyresearcher.com. Stay geeky and stay tuned. We are Team Geeky Researchers.